Well, it's about that time where we start turning on our air conditioning, but there are some things you want to keep in mind. So to stay cool inside your home, our news force Tosin Fakile is working for you. She tagged along with an HVAC company on a service job asking what you need to know. Tosin. Well, Marius, we talked to South Nashville Heating and Cooling, and they're saying now is the time to turn on your air conditioning. Get this thing going. They're telling homeowners to test their AC now before it gets really hot, and they're telling homeowners to get the maintenance done on their AC before it gets super hot and that humidity goes up. We've got about 15 calls, uh, and they're still coming in. With the temperatures rising, the number of broken AC calls are also going up. I came back to my house the other day, and it was just not cold. It got to almost 80 degrees in my house. We were there as AC techs were working on Laurel Card's broken AC compressor, an expensive part to fix, but one that's needed to keep things cool. I've seen some compressors as as high as, you know, close to $4,000 uh, for a complete uh, replacement on a residential system. Um, but typically on average, uh, if we're talking about an R410A compressor, you'd probably be looking about, you know, 1200 to 1500 I asked other simple steps you can take to keep your temperatures cool this summer. It's very important as a homeowner to make sure that your filters are changed on a regular basis. Um, and that's the biggest thing you can do. We don't want to restrict airflow. Other things to remember, it's not a good idea to put your thermostat in the 60s. Also, keep a ceiling fan or standing fan running for circulation. As for Laurel, she says she was about to take drastic actions if she wasn't able to cool her home down quickly. I was looking at getting a hotel or maybe an Airbnb because it's just I don't feel comfortable with me and my dog in an 80 degree plus house and so but it's Nashville so too expensive and I'm really glad they were able to fit me in. <laughs> Well, it ended well for Laurel. Now, the heating and cooling company tells me to homeowners to check with their AC warranty company. They tell me when an AC unit comes in brand new, it usually comes with a five-year part warranty. So that's for something people need to check out. Back to you, Mario. 